Hello everyone, welcome to Globe Guys. In this video we've gone beyond Tokyo and we've come to the fifth station on Mount Fuji. A little bit later on today we're going to be going on to Lake Hashi where hopefully we'll get some views of the mountain as well and then we're going to finish off by taking a train ride on the world famous bullet train back to Tokyo. <laughs> Hey everybody, here we are today at uh, Mount Fuji uh, we're up at the fifth station which is the highest point by road that you can go. Um, Mount Fuji is up there somewhere, it's shrouded in cloud unfortunately which is a bit of a shame but that doesn't detract from the amazing views that you've got behind me there. If you want a Globe Guys tip from us, then if you're coming up Mount Fuji, just make sure you bring a jacket because we didn't. And it's a good 15 degrees cooler up here than where it is down in Tokyo. But if you get too cold, um, you can always come inside here and warm up with a lovely cup of coffee. Hey all, so we're um, having a bit of a, an updated day today. The um, Lake Ashi, which was our original plan, we're going to do a cruise around there, is uh, shrouded in fog, which means it's obviously not going to be great. So we've come to Lake Kowichiko, which is this lake behind me. Um, we're going to do a cruise around here shortly. Um, what we're still hoping for though is to get some views of Mount Fuji at some point in the day. Um, things are beginning to lift, so fingers crossed we'll get to see something later. Stay tuned. So you still can't see the very top of uh, Mount Fuji, but it's probably the best we're going to get today, and there it is. And now it's the end of the day and we're heading back to Tokyo. We're going on the world famous bullet train which travels up to 320 kilometers an hour. Shinkansen line which is the world famous bullet train. We're currently on our way to Tokyo and it's going to take us about 40 minutes traveling at nearly 300 kilometers an hour. It does feel quite fast actually it does feel I didn't think it would actually feel faster than a normal train but it actually does. There you go. There you go. <laughs> So as you see, we're uh, on the bullet train now, heading back to Tokyo. It's um, it's been a great day today. Uh, it's been long though, so I think this is about we've been at 11 hours so far. By the time we get back to the hotel, it's probably going to be about another half an hour, 45 minutes. Um, so it's been a long day, but we've seen a lot. Um, started off um, heading up Mount Fuji, um, and we didn't think we were going to see, but we actually did. The clouds parted. It was all, you know, really dramatic, but we got to see Mount Fuji, which top of it shrouded in, in fog, which was a bit, um, a bit mysterious, but it was still great to see. 
um, and then we were going on a boat ride um, and then we're up in a cable car um, but the cable car went through uh, a very foggy area so we couldn't get to see much um, in fact we didn't see anything at all to be fair so um, and then we came down from there and we're now on the bullet train you know the world's fastest train back to Tokyo so um, great day gonna go back to hotel now have a bite to eat get ready and then hit Tokyo for a Friday night so looking forward to that stay tuned <laughs> So that's it for this video, uh, thanks for watching as always, and don't forget you can always follow us on Facebook and subscribe to us on YouTube, details are on the screen right now.